Our last one is the myelencephalon. And the myelencephalon is the most primitive part of your brain. You often hear it referred to as, like, the reptilian brain. It's right here. The structure itself is called the medulla oblongata. And the medulla oblongata essentially keeps you alive. You can actually, you, probably not you, but critters have been known to lose all of their upper brain parts, maintain an intact medulla oblongata, and survive. And Mike the headless chicken is an example of that. His, the medulla oblongata is breathing, it's heart rate, it's, it keeps you alive. It's found inferior to the pons, so here's my medulla oblongata. It literally looks like a little bit of a swelling of your spinal cord, and that's what it is. The medulla oblongata connects to the spinal cord and continues on and is spinal cord after that. That's it. Here it is. Lots of cranial nerves come out of the medulla oblongata, and that's, I believe, our next topic, and so we will look at those um, next. Okay, so you have all your brain parts, and now we're going to look at one last piece. We're going to look at the cerebrospinal fluid, which your brain floats in, and how it kind of circulates around in your brain.